Today, I will be upgrading a workstation that I bought recently off eBay. And this workstation is, of course, the HP Z400. It's a it's quite old system uh, from 2009, I think, or 2010. But it comes with a X5650, a Xeon processor, six core 12 threads processors running at you know 3.0 gigahertz, and it came with 12 gigabytes of you know triple uh, triple channel memory RAM. Um, but that's running at uh, 1333 megahertz a bit slow to by today's standard you know when compared to ddr4 but you know it does its job and it also came with a 500 gigabyte which uh, mm, doesn't really work today this is 24 gigs of ddr3 error correction co ram also running at 1333 uh, megahertz and they're all four gigs dim. And let's take a look inside of my PC. The cable management is literally non-existent because the HP system is, is running a pro, you know, I can't even say the word. Um, it, it's non-standard ATX um, you know, power supply. And, but, you know, it's meant to be, you know, it's a server, it's a workstation. So you can run this 24 seven without any issues however it's only 4, 7, 475 watts of power so um, it's good but you're limited to only you know maybe this is what I got at the moment a, a RX 580 a, a RX 580 uh, the Red Devil edition and you know it comes with a LED light and everything, so it's amazing. But you know, I don't have a side panel, you know, a, a transparent side panel, so you can't see through. But um, one of the issues is um, that you only get one six pin header from the power supply, which is this. So I had to get a um, a Molex, two Molex, you know, what you see one here, one here, two Molex, two eight pin just to power the bad boy. And as you can see, this is the one, um, one for the OS, the SSD for the OS. And also a gigabyte SSD that I bought recently. 12 gigs of a DDR3 RAM. So hopefully I just you know have a bit more room to play with instead of being stuck on uh, um, 12 gigabytes when I'm you know video editing or whatnot. But um, yeah, everything's good about it. But one of the uh, some of the issues are that it doesn't have SATA three ports. I mean. Yeah, SATA three port, so it's only limited to um, around two hundred and fifty megabytes transfer speed, even with the SSD. So that's one of the limiting factors here. And one of the issues is that um, you can't really change anything on this PC. Yeah, it's just the motherboard's non-standard, the power supply's non-ATX. So you really you you're stuck you know, upgrading to this PC, uh, I mean, to this case. And another thing is that this fan, this back 92 millimeter fan is so damn loud. I even changed the BIOS settings and my God, it's loud. And then I had to buy one of these, um, you know, uh, 50 ohms resistor just to make it a bit quieter. Um, but otherwise, it's a fantastic machine. I'm getting uh, um, 150 FPS on medium settings in Rainbow Six Siege. Then, if you want to play at ultra setting, you get around 80 FPS. So it's not that bad. It's not. It's really not that bad, bad of a machine. If you, you know, if you don't use USB three and you don't use um, SATA three ports, but um, enough of the talk and I'm just going to show you uh, the upgrading process for the RAM here is what I will be upgrading to as you can see 4 gigabytes of a uh, PC3L PC3L is just the I think it's the low, low voltage one which is uh, the 1.25 volts 
or something. But it shouldn't matter. It, this, uh, I'm, I hope this works because, you know, I paid 40 quid for these. So, um, yeah, let me take the old one out. Definitely a cheap PC to buy. You'll be looking into, you know, uh, looking into gaming. He mm, smashed the F10 button here. Yeah, for the total of this build was only 300 quid. So as you can see here, it's running 24 gigabytes of memory, DDR3, error correction code, and 133 megahertz. So everything seems to be working fine, and I didn't get scammed by the eBay seller and um, you know but the only thing I don't like about this um, operating system is that it's a bit locked down so I mean you can change your you know, SATA values and, and uh, you know just the normal very locked down basic stuff you know change your ACHI or RAID and um, of course your boot order then um but you can't do any overclocking at all you can't do um you know you can't control the voltage you can't control the ram so it's a really bit locked down compared to other pieces i've used in the past um but so the only real op real um upgrade path for the cpu is to get the, I think the X5690 or the X5680 or even the, the W3680 and the W3690 so that's really the only options you can have with these CPUs and do some relatively fast um, of course, this is not you know M2 NVMe standard um, that I had. I have in my other laptop that you know it beats me in 40 seconds. This doesn't do too bad to be honest. Um, yeah, that's my name here. But uh, yeah, it doesn't do, do too bad. Uh, 20 seconds, 25 seconds at most, and it beats you to the you know Windows plays. So as you can see here. Six core, twelve threads processor, bringing at three gigahertz turbo boost, um, which is by today's standards a bit slow. The single core speed, especially for gaming, but you know the multi-core um, aspect of it is amazing. Six core, twelve thread processor, twenty-four gigabytes of RAM, and. Uh, yeah, I might do a follow-up video where I do, um, you know, show you guys <clears throat> the video editing process and uh, see if there's any improvement. But especially when you're opening large files, having that, you know, larger capacity buffer definitely helps. Um, especially when I'm limited by the SATA 2 port down below. But yeah. That's about it for today. And uh, you guys want to see like benchmark or anything, or you know, see the bench and you know, you know, live gameplay benchmark of this PC, of this uh, HP lovely HP Z four hundred. Um, yeah, go ahead, uh, and give me a comment, and you know, I might do it in the next video. So until next time. Goodbye.